Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Moshore Computer Services. And what we have here today is a hard drive that has been locked with a BitLocker. Interestingly enough, over the course of me working with computers, I have not had the chance to work with a BitLocked hard drive. So I never explored the subject because as far as I know, if you encrypt your hard drive, most likely something will happen with the operating system and all your data is going to be locked up. Uh, this hard drive, thankfully, does not need to be locked up or there's no data need to be recovered. So whether it's locked up or not is irrelevant. But uh, it's interesting on how you unlock the drive. So let me plug it in and uh, see what, uh, what we do with it. So oh, first, uh, make sure that you have a BitLocker recovery key. Okay, so when you when your computer is working and uh, when system prompts you to create a BitLocker, um, when you uh, BitLock the hard drive, it prompts to create this key. And uh, there are two pieces to it. There is the identifier and there is the recovery key. Okay, so <clears throat> let me show you how these two pieces work. So um, I just went, looked for any information that I could find on a BitLocker, blocked hard drive and uh, whatnot. And honestly, I didn't see much on YouTube about it. So I guess mm, most people are like me, uh, advising against uh, using BitLocker because things could happen that you would regret. So let me plug it in. So here's what happens. It's a local hard drive and it's uh, locked. It's got this yellow neat little lock on it. Um, let's see, if we open the management console and go to disk manager, uh, this is the hard drive that has the bit locker on it. Uh, this portion does not show anything about oh yeah here it is bit locker encrypted okay uh, but there are not any locks or any colors on here so let's go back in here if we double click on this it says you have to enter your 48 digit recovery key to unlock the drive and they give you the key ID starting with 217B3 they're giving you this information just so you can match this information to the information in your text file. So here's the same number, 217B347F, and that's the recovery key. Uh, here's the interesting thing. If you click anywhere outside, that thing disappears. So what we need to do here is... Select uh, the recovery key, push control C, or you can do edit, copy, all right. Then you go here, you double click on the drive and click inside and you cannot paste, but if you do control V, it will paste it, okay. So once you do that, you can unlock the drive. And in a few moments, once uh, it checks it, it will show up in a computer as a BitLocker unlocked hard drive. Uh, one thing that I was looking for is uh, what would happen if we were to format, reformat a hard drive that has been locked by a BitLocker. And that's one question that I did not get an answer to nowhere I looked. Uh, everyone looked and talked about how to um, unlock the BitLocker locked hard drive and all that good stuff. That's all important information, although solutions were not very clear or useful. However, what I'm simply saying is 
let's see if we can format a hard drive without having it unlocked and whether it's going to become a useless hard drive or whether we could still just format the hard drive and use it you know like a normal hard drive so we're not going to bitlock the hard drive or bit unlock so the hard drive is locked and uh, I have this nifty tool for low-level hard disk formatting so we're just going to low-level format drive format yes some errors reformat it again so okay so now this hard drive that was bitlocker locked is completely renewed and let's refresh our management console command console sometimes console doesn't is not happy because uh, it sees something and then totally different thing has happened so we'll go to disk management and it says you know please initialize your hard drive and blah 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 so you can reformat a bitlocker locked hard drive without um, basically anything so we're just gonna create a new volume going to format it for us and as you can see the drive has here's the drive uh, does not have uh, lock on it so all the information that was on it was deleted um, you don't have to worry about um, using the drive you can reformat a bitlocker locked hard drive with no consequences um, if the password is on the hard drive itself, you could put a password on a hard drive. That's a different story. You can't simply access that hard drive unless you supply the password. Um, <clears throat> that's a hardware lock. This is a software lock. So reformatting the drive basically turns it into a, a brand new drive and all of the information on it is lost. Hopefully this helps somebody um, to uh, how to uh, enable BitLocker, uh, that's a simple function. You just go into your, um, let's see, I think you just right click on it, go to properties, um, since I've never done it, I thought this is where it would be security, no. So let me look at that, put a pause okay so it's very simple you go to um, control panel and you just type in in a search bitlocker and uh, manage bitlocker comes up and it shows all the drives okay here's the new drive you could just turn on bitlocker over here and it's gonna go through the initialization uh, you can use uh, password to unlock the drive, smart card, and blah, blah, blah. So just follow the directions. Um, let's use the password. Just do one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Next, password doesn't meet. Okay, so we'll do how uh, period oops so it's one two three period still not happy okay then we need to put like a, a at the end a at the end okay so one two three period a uh, you can save now when you bitlock the hard drive it asks you to save the key so we do save it to a file uh, we're just gonna place it right on, on the desktop 
save okay so now we have our key um, next and you can have the disk space or you can encrypt entire drive um, I don't know how the original was encrypted so um, I'll just follow next. Uh, I'll have to do some more uh, checking on it. And compatible. Oh, interesting. So I'll just cancel. Um, I don't need this drive encrypted. Um, but you can see you just follow the prompts. Now, it would be, uh, I would tried to make a video where everything um, all the options are checked uh, I'll just use a drive that I don't really care for and I want to see what would happen if you reformat that drive so let me cancel out of here uh, okay and uh, as you can see everything's been dropped it did not encrypt the drive so we'll just cancel out and uh, that's it so the drive hasn't been touched uh, hopefully this helps somebody but I'll try to go in depth on BitLocker uh, options and what would happen if you reformat the drive um, with BitLocker uh, different options enabled um, whether it's a still software I mean it would still be software compression or encryption um, so it shouldn't matter as far as uh, reformatting the drive, but you never know could put something in a low-level formatting and uh, cause some issues So hopefully this helps somebody um, Give me some likes. I like this and uh, You have a good day